What would you do if a doctor told you you only had seven days left to live? If in only seven days from now you'd be gone forever and your time here would be over? The most important commodity in this world is time. Time is priceless. Time is the essence of what you do each and every day. I often ask undergraduates how many hours a day you waste or how many hours a week you waste. And the classic answer is something like four to six hours a day. You know, you think, well, that's 20, 25 hours a week. It's 100 hours a month. That's two and a half full work weeks. It's half a year of work weeks per year. It's been said that time is free, but it's priceless. You can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you've lost it, you can never get it back. I'm willing to bet if you were told that this was the end, that your time here was up and in seven days you'll be gone, you'd do something you've always wanted to do. How many seconds, how many minutes, how many hours have we wasted? How many weeks, how many months, even how many years have we wasted? When I say you can do it and don't quit, sometimes it just takes a little bit of help as well. You can't make excuses and be successful at the same time. We can't shy away from the things that are tough. And so if your life isn't everything it could be, you could ask yourself, well, what would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? Listen, we're all gonna make mistakes, all right? Life is about making mistakes. So many people just try to avoid it so much they never get anything done. The secret is to not dwell on that shit. Too many of you that are listening, that are watching, are just dwelling on stuff that happened yesterday. Guess what? You can't do jack shit about what happened yesterday. You can only change what happens tomorrow. You have been built for this. Nothing just happens. You were in this situation for a reason and you were built for this. So many people forget the fact that we can't change what's happened. We can only change what's gonna happen. The reality is, is that we have to maximize our time in order to make our dreams reality. Too many of us go through life living like we have all the time in the world and we take for granted everything around us. The fact that you're gonna die should light fire under your ass and get you to start seeing the world differently. So the question then becomes, why do you need to be told that you've only got seven days until you die for you to finally live? Stop wasting time. We can never get it back. I looked over on the side of the room and it was a science lab and it had an ant farm. I was able to look at those ants as the students show me each and every ant crawling around and moving. And quickly I began to realize that the ant was a symbol of a person working each and every day. I mean, those ants to those students symbolize People working to achieve their goals. Those ants were creating a life for themselves without wasting time. You know, if you take people, and I've told you this, and you expose them voluntarily to things that they are avoiding and are afraid of, you know, that they know they need to overcome in order to meet their goals, their self-defined goals. If you can teach people to stand up in the face of the things they're afraid of, they get stronger. So the secret is to learn from those mistakes. Look at what happened yesterday, but don't dwell on it. Don't live there. Don't live at that mistake. Don't live at that point of your life where everything changed for the worst. Don't live there. Because as all the time you're living there and you're going over every single possible scenario in your mind, blaming yourself for making the wrong decision, you're not looking forward. You're not going anywhere, especially forward if you're constantly looking back. You can't do it. All right, what did I do? Okay, great, that's what I did. So guess what, don't do it again. That's it, end of, end of story, move on. That's all you can take from that situation. I can live with no responsibility whatsoever. The price I pay is that nothing matters. Or I can reverse it and everything matters. But I have to take the responsibility that's associated with that. I am here today to encourage you to stop wasting time. 
Tell yourself that you will do it. Making yourself believe that you can do it is a part of the process. The mind is a powerful thing and it will tell you time and time again that you can do it and the body will follow. Training our mind to get better each and every day. That's in you. You have built, been built for this. Because those are the things that make us get better and better and better. That's practice. That's in and out. That's rep after rep. Time after time. Lap after lap. Lesson after lesson. Paper after paper. Book after book. The human mind has a mindset that once it gets focused on the goal and buckles down and realize what it wants to do, human beings can do extraordinary things. And you don't know what the upper limits to that are because you might ask yourself, like, if for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, by, the def by your own definitions, right, within the value structure that you've created to the degree that you've done that, what would you be like? The Wright brothers, <laughs> once they did achieve flight after time and time again of making mistakes, 66 years later, the human race was able to put a man on the moon. Sitting around and dwelling and just constantly going over it in your head is going to do nothing but drive you fucking mad. Move on. It's done. Learn from it. Change. Move forward. The light is there. It's at the end of the tunnel. And no matter how dark it's been up until this point, no matter how dark your life has been up until now, the light is there. Even if you can't see it, you've got to keep moving forward. Learn from what you've just done. Move forward. Learn from what you've just done. Move forward. Repeat, repeat, repeat. All the way forward. Until one day, you're going to get to the end of that tunnel and you're going to see the light. Oh, when we put our minds to it, we can do extraordinary things. Nothing is impossible when you don't quit. You can do it. I know it's tough. But time and time again, the tougher it is, the better it's going to make you. <laughs>